Hello everybody and welcome. No, oh, sorry. What the hell? Hello everybody and welcome. Yo, what's going on you guys and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Sunshine. Woohoo! What in the hell am I looking at? Anyway, yes, what is going on you guys? My name is Antebeck, your host for the evening, if you will. And we are going to be going into a new place. Because I actually did practice these couple levels. Actually, specifically this one. I like the movement for this level. It's very, very fun to do. And also very, very difficult. Um, but yeah, let's go on right into it, man. What you want to do is first spin jump, dive, and then chain... Ah, I screwed it up already. Already screwing it up, man. Sorry that this episode started off so swiftly as well. Um, the way you get into here is by going through the... Are you, you go into first person and look up in that little thing, look at the sun, and you will be into this new area. It's kind of cool. It's definitely different. Um, but what you want to do is you want to spin jump at this little cork thing, or water thing, I don't know what it is. And then spin jump it here, change your nozzles, definitely get rid of all this goo. I mean, you don't have to, you just need to get rid of the path that's in front of you. But sometimes there is invisible goo and you slip and slide on it, and that's just a pain. Um, grab onto the same exact wheel that you kicked onto, and then, whoa, that was almost bad. Actually, that is bad. Actually, it wasn't so bad. Okay, it is bad now. And it's even worse now. Um, spin jump on over to here, clean a little path for yourself, spin jump, and then glide at the peak of your spin jump in order to... Oh, that didn't work, are you serious? Alright, let's grab on, there we go. Um, I actually practiced it a whole bunch, and I did it a lot faster almost every time, so I don't know what's going on with me right now. Um, it must just be because I'm recording or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't like the blame things on just recording. You know? like, I'm doing bad because I'm recording, but sometimes that is how it works. Um, please don't explode. Please don't ex You're going to explode. Okay, that just wasted all the bombs. Um, now I do believe I've taken out one of these guys before. You want to let him throw two bombs and then start, um, you want to also spray the two bombs that he throws. And then pick up the first one as he's throwing the third one, grab the second one as it lands, spray it, the third one, and then throw the final third one at him, and he is not even an issue. Also, again, sorry that this started off very fast. I was pretty excited to do this episode. Ugh, I really, really like this area. I don't know why. I like almost all the areas in this game, except for Rico Harbor. Hate Rico Harbor. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I just really, I think they're all very different from each other, and I like that. Especially in a game that seems so, like, chorus, it corresponds with itself very well. It resonates. It resonates with the younger kid in me. Um, but here we go, the boss of the Tricky Ruins. Now, there is a tricky little glitch that helps you beat this one. Otherwise, you would have to go beat Gooper Blooper for the third time. However, I don't feel like doing that. I mean, we've already fought him twice, and how much do you need to recycle an enemy, Nintendo? No, in all seriousness, though, um, what you want to do is go up this way. Now, what we should be doing if you want to go fight Gooper Blooper is going on over there, where the old man is standing. The old shell man guy. Yeah, whatever. Um, but we're not gonna do that. We're not. What we're going to do is we are going to spin up here once again. Whoa, hey, that was cool. Um, go up here. And then on over this way. I'm going to come up here. And I kind of screwed up a little bit. That's okay, though. Not a big deal. And then what you want to do is that. Kind of. I mean, there's much faster ways of doing it, and I'm no speedrunner, that's for sure. But then you want to spray this spring. Spray the spring with my lisp, and it should all be fine, okay? Just kidding. Anyway, run into this corner and throw it. You have to be at the proper angle, facing the direct corner. So kind of just get yourself lined up, and then right when you go into the corner, push B, you'll go on through, 
you'll literally phase through the wall if you just keep holding forward as you throw the spring. And there we go. Already done. We didn't have to beat the boss. Actually, this is the only um, shine that spawns early fighting Goopa Blooper. It spawns before you fight him. Also, there's two blue coins here. If you want to grab those right now, I'm going to be grabbing them in the bonus episode. Or not really the bonus episode. It's going to be the semi-finale of this series where I gather all the blue coins in one episode. Hopefully in one episode. Maybe it's going to be two. I don't know exactly what exactly is going to be exactly going on. I don't, I don't know why I felt the need to say that three times, but I did. Anyway, let's go back into here. Awesome. Here is red coins in a bottle. I really, really don't like this level. It's not that it's hard, it's just that it's kind of annoying. I'll be honest. So as soon as we spawn in, um, I've never ever read this, and I don't feel like it's really necessary because the bottle's right there, and I'm really excited to get into this stage so we can get it done with, so I don't have to do it anymore, and I'm talking way too fast. Holy crap. Okay. Anyway, let's just dive right on in. He'll give us this scuba gear type thing, although we still lose health with it on, which is just a little odd, if you ask me. Um, whoa, hey, okay, what we want to do is come on over here. Okay, I was a little, little late to the party right there, but that's okay. It's just fine. There it is. The second coin has been got. Um, you should see the guys do this hoverless, man. It's crazy how they do it. Um, but there we go. Grab this a coin. And then we want to wait. Hover down here. Grab that coin. Grab this coin. Grab that coin right on over there. Inside the little hut area. And then, and then the final coin is right there. It's not a very hard shine unless you don't know where all the coins are. It's just annoying. I don't like the underwater controls all that much in this game. In, in any game. Let me rephrase that. They're, none of them are really all that great. And there we go. That's the shine. 57 now. That is pretty crazy. What are we on? Episode 8, I think. Seven? Eight? Seven, eight? Something like that. 57 or 58? I don't know. Haha. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. Kind of tired. Anyway, now that that is over with. Whoa. Let's go back in here. Let's do a couple more things up in Noki Bay. The Ely Mouth's Dentist. Now, this one. This is the craziest. Literally. It is so insane, this shine on um, 100 coins, or not 100 coins, hoverless. Why did I just say 100 coins? I don't know. Um, he says to go up the wire. We do not have to do that, actually, unless you want to waste time, but I don't feel like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right on over here, spray that, and glide right on in here. Boom. Just like that. Otherwise, you have to go to the very top, and his, the dad will just be all, dive right in the waterfall. And <laughs> you just dive right in, you're all, I could have done that from the beginning. So, yeah. Um, but this is a very, very freaking hard shine in Hoverless, you guys. I, I would never feel like attempting this. Alright. What we're gonna want to do is, let's hit those bubbles, and it will give us full life, which is kind of nice. Um, and if, as soon as we get close enough, the eel will start rotating, which is good. We want to spray his teeth, of course. That is kind of where dentists apparently. Um, and we got one tooth. We have a second tooth. Oh, I just got eaten. Haha, <laughs> whoops. Okay, Flood is feeling frightened. Because we got eaten, and that's fine. I understand that. I would not want to be eaten myself. Um, there is a way to get like six teeth. Um, on your first while he first opens his mouth, and it's pretty insane. But here we go. Actually, I'm gonna run into one of these bubbles here. I feel like I could use that health. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so let's just keep spraying his teeth. This is a very, very. Um, I was gonna say easy, but I really wanted to say that it's very straightforward. 
It's not very easy. I have trouble with this shine quite a bit. As I'm sure you can tell, I've already gotten eaten twice. Um, but again, if you just run into the bubbles, or you can spray them with your uh, hover pack if you want, and that gives you health as well if you don't want to take damage or gain some, that's understandable. Um, but here we are. We hover there, we get yet another tooth. Yet another tooth. And let's see if we can get a third one. Nope, no third one. We did get two in a row, which I'm pretty satisfied with. Spray that open. Let's go and grab some of them bubbles. Awesome. Um, okay, so here is another tooth. As well as a golden tooth. Oh, I didn't get that one just in time. Dang it. That's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Although, when the teeth do go back into his mouth... They get instantly re-dirtied for some reason. Not the ones that you've cleaned off completely, but the ones that you haven't cleaned off completely do in fact get re-dirtied. Um, and it's kind of a pain, but it, I mean, it makes sense, kind of. There we go, and that is the last two, the golden one right there. Nice. Remember to take proper care of your teeth, Flood says. I agree. Good job. Good call, Flood. Um, I am most likely going to keep that entire fight in, mostly because it's a completely different boss fight than what we've seen up until now. So that's kind of nice. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is just position yourself right above, right above the shine here, and we will just drift down very slowly, very slowly. There we go. Awesome! A sunshine underwater, and this... It looks, they look so good, man. Like, this game looks really good, especially for being made in 2002. Wow. To even think about that. This game was made when I was, like, eight years old. That is crazy, dude. I can't even, like, whoosh. That's, whatever. The years have gone by so quickly. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, Noki Bay, let's go on into here. It's just a Piantissimo's shine not that big of a deal i do believe this one takes him 55 seconds to complete but you'll see we will beat him quite a bit faster than that oh i almost got up there first try that's fine though ho ho foolish man i am pntcmo the second i guess yes that is me and now i challenge you to a race to that flag and that flag is right on over here we have not yet seen this flag, or been to this area, rather. Of course, we haven't seen the flag. Okay, so he finishes in 40 seconds. I was totally wrong about that. But you'll see, I could stand here for like 10 seconds, and we could still beat him. Actually, I'm going to do that. Nine, ten, okay. Now, I'm just going to go normally. I'm not going to like do anything crazy. But there we go. Yeah, um, Piantissimo has got nothing on us, man. 2766, and he takes 40 seconds to beat this. It is very, very, it's one of the easier Piantissimo shines, to be honest. But there we go, that is the shine done. Very, very fun. I really enjoy that. I jumped the wrong way. I very much enjoy that shine, just because it's... It's, it's easy, it's kind of quick, and it's fun. Awesome! 59 shines. So, I think I may have been mentioning this and then totally got diverted in a different episode. The way that you beat this game, I know I haven't gone over this yet, or if I have, I have the worst memory known to man. Um, The way that you beat it is you beat shine number 7 in each um, stage. You only need to beat Shine 7, you can skip to Shine 8. Look, I'm looking at you, Gelato Beach. You can skip to Shine 8, and then go back to Shine 7, because getting one Shine unlocks them all. Or, unlocks the previous ones to it. And, yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. 
Um, but you could do that. You can just get the seventh shine in every one and then go beat Bowser, which is just awesome. Oh, spoiler alert, Bowser's the final boss in the game. Just kidding. That was obvious. I would hope. Because Bowser Jr. has already talked about his pro anyway, I'm getting off I'm getting off track. Anyway. Just beat um the seventh shine in each stage and then go beat um actually then it will open up Corona Mountain. And then you can go beat Bowser and beat the game. That's how you beat the game. Um, or you can do everything like I'm doing, which also beats you the game. Although you'll see, um, when we do go open Corona Mountain, well, you'll you'll see, you'll see. Let's just say that. Um, I haven't planned out what to do yet. Again, of course. Why would I? And it seems that we've already gotten Shine Seven on two of the seven areas that we have. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. I was gonna be like, I'm really dumb, but I'm not. I'm just kind of dumb. Um, you know what? Let's go back to Noki Bay. We'll make this an entirely Noki Bay day. That rhymes. I'm cool, right? No. The shell's secret. Okay, this secret is so much fun, man. I really have to stop lisping, honestly. But yeah, this secret is amazing, dude. I... It's hard. It's very, very difficult. But it's so much fun. Ugh, even when I rage at this shine, I just can't, like... I can't even be mad at it forever. What you're gonna wanna do is jump up here. Whoops, not like that. Not like that either. <laughs> um, no, come on, fingers. No, fingers. Mario, maybe it's your fault, Mario. I should not blame my own fingers. You know what? We're not even going to try that. We're not going to do the fancy stuff anymore. We're just going to do the normal things. Okay, now that we're over here, though, this isn't very fancy. You just want to spin jump and glide. Pretty self-explanatory there. You'll get onto this little area here. Whoa, camera. Thank you. Jump three times, or twice if you prefer. You can do either. I just couldn't see very well there. Glide on up, and there we are. We are already in the shell's secret. This is a very easy one to get to, especially if you practice it. You can get here in less than like five seconds or so. But yeah. Whoa, hey, Mario, come on, man. Okay. Oh, that was just stupid user error right there. My apologies. Let's see if we can actually do the cool things right here. Okay, so you want to run forward, jump off. Nope. Nope, I already screwed up. Anyway, yeah. Let's just go this way. Oh, that was close. Let's go that way. Whoa, hello. Alright, so we're not going to get the cool things done, but we are going to beat it this time, hopefully. Oh, hopefully, like I said. Triple jump up to there. Whoa, hello. Um, we're just gonna beat it normally because I don't feel like I don't feel like doing all the crazies right now. Just kind of in a more of a relaxed mood. Noki does this to me. Noki is like it makes me so Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do is jump up there. Really just jump. There's not much else you need to do. Um, spin jump off this, jump over to here. I'm sure there's alternative ways to do that, but that is the easiest one I've found. Here, you're going to want to triple jump, so... Or not? What? How do you do this? I honestly forgot how to do this. Oh, maybe you do it like that, okay. There we go, awesome. Um, so yeah, I just spin jump. I spin jumped at the wall and then Those blocks have the freaking weirdest physics sometimes dude I was running like straight forward and then it turned me left because I was holding up and left just a tiny bit And then it totally jumped me the wrong way Or it like ran me off the hedge, which is very odd Um, sadly, I did not beat it that time Game over. Game over, dude. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you guys get the gist of it. I guess I'll meet you back up on that 
reddish orange platform type area where I did the spin jump. Yeah, whatever. I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so we are back inside of the shell right now. And what we're going to want to do is hopefully we can do this correctly this time. Actually, I've already began to do it correctly. Come on! Oh, no! Okay, that's okay. That's fine. We're good. It's all it's all good. Man, we're cool. We're cool. It's cool. It's all right. We're good. It's okay. Keep repeating the same thing. So just jump off the things like that. And I already missed it. That's fine. That's okay. Let's just let's just do it normally. Why not? You know, there's nothing wrong with doing things. There's nothing wrong with doing things normally. Oh. Okay, we have one more life left after this. That's we're good. It's okay. Grab on. There we go. Good job, Mario. Round of applause. No, please, please don't do this to me right now, Mario. Mario, I said please don't, and you did it. Why didn't you grab on? Is it because I went into first person or something? There we go. Awesome. So that is that. I'm just gonna do the basic triple jump here. It seems to be... Okay. Whoa! No, 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 no. That's a game over! God damn it. Ah, I just kicked things and all the things, man. My game, my head hurts, man. Oh, this is so sad. My, my game, my head hurts and hurts and I'm sad. What time is it? Oh, God. I gotta go soon because of things and college and stuff. That was a very awkward entry, just saying. The camera is like switching around there for no reason whatsoever. Okay, let's hope we can actually beat it this time, you guys. I have faith. I believe in the heart of the cards. Whoa, that was a little close, Mario. What the hell was that? He grabbed on and then immediately let go. I don't even I don't even know how that was a thing, but it was. Okay, whatever. Wowzer, dude. Bam, boy, son. I don't even know. That was so clutch. No, oh god. The clutch is real, man. This is definitely cringe worthy video, though. Just saying. I don't even want to upload this, but I'm going to probably. Hopefully, I'm going to make myself look really good and just cut out all the bad parts. I don't, I don't know, that's up for future me to decide. I, I probably won't do that. No! Why can't I do this shine right now? This isn't even that difficult of a shine. Like, it's really not, but I just can't do it right now. For some odd reason, my hands are not working right now. Okay. You know, as a kid, I always wondered how the heck to get out of here. And it was so... Whoa. Hello. Don't do that, Mario. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. Good. Okay. I'm going to take this super duper slow. This is probably going to end off the episode. All right, you guys. I've decided. I've decided. This is where I'm going to end this episode because it's horrible. And I've only been recording for like 27 minutes, but 
I am just kind of done playing Super Mario Sunshine for today. Because I'm bad at it. That's why. I'm giving up. I'm a giver-upper. I'm a quitter, man. I'm just a quitter. Actually, I'm not. But this is so goddamn annoying right now. Ugh. Nope. You know what? Let's do something else. Let's just do a different shine. We'll come back to this one a little bit later. I'll practice it in between this episode and the next episode. I have quite a few things I need to practice, but I will practice it, and we will get it next time, I promise. It will be a thing. Alright, let's go over to here, though. Into Gelato Beach. We haven't seen Gelato Beach in quite some time. So let's go, let's go take a peek-see at it. Oh, hey, we're already on a Shadow Mario mission. Interesting, I did not expect for this to happen. Um... This one's gonna take me a while though, so you know what? Why not? This is actually probably perfect, to be honest. There we go. Nope, I already screwed up. There's a way to kill him underneath that tree that he just passed under, and it's very difficult, but it's really fun to, to watch. I also think that's the fastest way to kill Shadow Mario. Um, in this in this level, this is, or that's the fastest area. Oh, hey, he went down a lot faster than I expected him to. Awesome. That's pretty hype. Oh, also, in, during the Shadow Mario mission, if you spray this guy, actually, I think it's if you hit him. Whoa. There he goes. He will drop a coin. If you hit him in the tree, it's a little easier to get. But if you spray him out of the tree and then hit him, apparently that works as well. Save and continue. There is 60, you guys. Episode 7. And we have 60 shines. Halfway through the game already. That is kind of crazy, actually, to think about. Um, I've been recording for 29 whole minutes now. Ooh. Actually, can I do this right now? That'd be insane if I could. You might notice that, well... It's looking a lot brighter here now. And that is because I do believe once you have half of the shines, um, everything is lit up on Isle Delfino, which is kind of cool. Oh, apparently you can't do this just yet. Um, after, I guess it's after you beat all the Shadow Marios, there's going to be a boat here. We are going to have to go to where that boat takes us, which is back to the airstrip from the very beginning of the game. I really like how they did that, by the way. And we're going to have to do some stuff there, so, yeah. But, now that it's been 30 minutes and I've wasted enough of your guys' time for today, I think we should waste just a teeny bit more. What do you guys think? Why not? Whoa, hello. Hello, failure. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing good, Anthony. Okay, that's nice. Let's go into this cannon! Fire! Awesome. Cool, so now that that is done, let's let's hit up some Peanut Park. The Runaway Ferris Wheel. One of the easiest shines in the game. Literally, actually. This time I'm being serious. I say that about quite a few shines and then totally mess them up, which makes me look really dumb. But usually they're really easy for me, so maybe it's just because I haven't played this game in years. Or maybe it's just because, well... I'm overconfident or something? I don't know. I don't know what the other option would be. But if we do come into here... And not mess up really hard. Thank you, Mario, for messing me up really hard. Um, let's go on to this pirate ship. And that kind of works. Yeah, let's grab onto this thing. Whoa, hey, that didn't work like I wanted it to. Although it didn't not work either, so that's nice. Um, you want to get onto this green gate, run on up, and then you can spin jump, or totally miss the spin jump. And wow, wow. Okay, well let me at least show you what exactly you're skipping by doing all of this craziness by going on to the green stuff. You're skipping all this. Now you're gonna need to spray those gates, go on to those gates. Uh, uh, spray those gates, yeah, okay. You wanna spray the gates right here like that, and then you wanna climb on top of them, go onto that thing on the back side, then spray those gates, and then go onto the front side, and then jump onto those, spray that thing, go onto those, and up the, oh yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's really crazy. Um, you also might notice this dude here. You spray off all these dudes, and then hit the bigger dude at the very bottom. 
you will get a blue coin. I'm not going to do that. Yet again, I say that every episode. I am waiting until the correct moment to do so. Um, but now what I want to do is not what I'm doing right now, actually. Actually, that turned out pretty nice. All right. Now that we're back up here, let's just go on this way. Awesome. Now let's try not to hit that pink thing this time. Spin jump on over. Go through on here. Through on? No, just through. On through maybe, but not through on. Definitely not. Um, and then go onto this rope. I wasn't trying to do that. You can just directly get onto this thing. But then you want to kick this dude off. He will fly into the ocean. And for some reason, because of Mario logic, that spawns a shine to go up to the top of the roller coaster. Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel, not a roller coaster. I mean, they're kind of the same thing. Especially when they're going that fast. It's kind of like a freaking roller coaster. But it's definitely not... A roller coaster. Wow. I can't believe I sl How did I even slide off right there? Like, what was that? What did I slide off of? Was I even on a sloped surface is the real question here. And I think the answer is no. Anyway, I guess I'll just go up here because, well, I guess this is the only way I can go now in order to get onto the stairs. Or it's the easiest way, I guess. There's obviously other ways. You want to wait for a cart and, of course, mess up again. There we go. That was actually pretty clutch. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I wasn't gonna make that cart either. Awesome, so let's ride the Ferris wheel on up. And now that we are at the top, let's grab our shine. And I'm going to the end of the episode right here, you guys, after Mario goes, woohoo! All right, you guys. Anyway, yes, I do hope you have a good day. Make sure you do. <laughs> uh, do whatever makes you guys happy, of course. That is very, very, very important to everybody really I think that a lot of people suffer from like depression and things because they are not happy so I think you should all be happy I don't want to see any depressed people in this world man I don't think that's cool anyway I hope you all have a good day do whatever the heck you want to do as long as it makes you happy and I will see you guys in the next one I hope please tell me you'll watch me <laughs> all right you guys peace out